Good morning, YouTube. And today I'm going to be doing a slightly tongue-in-cheek piece about homework. I'm going to start asking you this question, is homework ethical? I would argue strongly, no. And before you disconnect and say another childish schoolboy, just give me a chance to explain. We spend around six to seven hours in school each day working very hard. It's quite tiring. We young children, it's, it, it's difficult. Well, I'm moving on about nearly sick for, but it is quite difficult. And to get home and have to sacrifice at least an hour and a half of your free time to a piece of homework that is often unnecessary and very boring is quite unfair. This can take our total working day to nine hours easily. And at that point, we have to eat and sleep. There is very good free time within the week. Now, if you're being paid, that's all very well and good. You're probably on a high salary and very happy. But, we're still learning. And yes, free education is definitely a benefit. We come away with the script to get good jobs. But, there must be an alternative to these endless hours of work that we put in. I think the education system is quite inefficient. They're, often the teaching can be very low standard, uh, subjects aren't taught properly, they're often uninteresting and pointless. A lot of students, especially me, don't see the point of learning a lot of the stuff that we do learn. I don't, for a lot of the cases, see the purpose in watching it and learning it and reading it. Of course it does make you a more rounded individual, but the education system has been about jumping through the hoops of the exam board and for you fellow students who are out here watching this, I'm sure you appreciate it entirely. You're like a dolphin jumping through the hoops of the exam board. Your opinion matters very little. What is actually happening also matters very little. There is no real world application for a lot of the stuff you learn. It's pointless. And if we're dedicating a lot of our time at home to learning this stuff as well, it seems immoral. Of course, it's a means to an end. Our grades will enable us to get far better jobs than we currently than we will currently be able to without these things, but there must be an alternative. I propose a more a focused education system where for students who can who can learn to focus and do want to focus, you can. You can go and choose your specialists and you learn loosely around these various other areas. They're not compulsory, you come away with a school report and it's not the end of the day. Now this will leave a lot of stuff open to employers. What do we do? We don't know how to employ them. But if you're learning four A-levels from a very young age, you can move on to degree much sooner. You'll be much more experienced in these one or two areas. Of course, I'm not saying get rid of core subjects. English, maths, and science are highly important, but a lot of the other things, they don't need to be GCSEs. Come on, catering. I mean, it's all very well and good learning to cook. I'd love to learn how to cook in school, but I think a GCSE for it is, is kind of stretching it. And drama. A drama GCSE. It's... It, it is, and um, forgive me for this, it is a charade. It's, it's for lower ability students, and employers know this. You're not going to get a job based on your GCSE in drama. It's, it's not really very valuable. Of course, if you want to become an actor, it's good, but stage school is going to benefit you more. And real acting talent, of course. The music GCSE, it just proves you know an instrument. And that's music lessons, and you do that in your own free time. There's there's a list of them. I the product design GCC, which is one of my pet hates. I loathed it. It was it was pointless. We weren't learning any real skills because we weren't doing the subject properly. It didn't need to be a GCSE. It could be a subject for the sake of the subject. So the education system needs a reform. Now it's not to me to say that. I'm sure that people will try, but. At the moment, the homework issue is in unethical. We're ploughing in hours of work into stuff that's not furthering the learning of the human race, and at the end of the day, it's a waste of both teachers, students, and government time and money. It's pointless. We could spend this money training up people in subjects that they're actually good at and enjoy. If I'd been able to study, say, government and politics, or philosophy, or... Um, psychology or English to a much higher level, I would have done by now. And I would be very good at it. I'd be far better than I am at them now. And, you'd... and so would so many other people. I didn't need to do that pointless ICT GCSE in which I learned nothing new. So, end of the day, 
While it is a means to an end and nothing is going to change by this video, you can be comforted in knowing that yes, it is unethical. And maybe this video will provoke in five or ten years' time a change that means you people, students, my children, your children, your grandchildren, my grandchildren, don't have to sit through the same tedious education system studying things that are pointless and extremely boring in lieu of things that are very, very fun and entertaining for the sake of it. I propose education for the sake of education, and then a few core exams to prove that you know the stuff. Then we'd end up with a highly motivated, highly skilled workforce, or highly motivated, highly skilled school force. It'd be far more streamlined, far more efficient, and if you didn't want it, you could go. And it'd be fine. And you could study your drama and stuff, and you'd become a half reactor. And or a full reactor, or a musician, and you'd be good at it. And you wouldn't have wasted so much time that you could have spent becoming so much better you are in your field, whilst instead of studying maths, or English, or biology, or chemistry, or physics, or... and just the list goes on. You could have become very good in your subject. Of course, you would still have to study basic maths. Basic addition and subtraction are always very useful. Basic science, you need to know that to not turn out to be a bit of a, an idiot. But... The issue is that we're learning too much, too pointless, and too soon. We could focus. And I'm going to leave you on that thought that we need to change things. And while you may need to do your homework for now, sometime in the future you can provoke this change. Thank you, and goodbye. See you next time.